Hi tea friends, how's everybody doing today? I'm here to do a tea review for you guys. I have this tea with me, it's been quite a, quite a long time and I just didn't have the time yet to, to sit here and make a review. Uh, this is uh, August Uncommon Tea, it was gifted to me by my aunt. Um, she came to visit one day, I invited her for um, a tea with me and uh, she brought some tea and then left this one for me. So, taste like, I like how August teas has like, taste like, uh, f um, feels like, and then have all of these like explanations and it's amazing. So I'm drinking the Low Country, it's a black tea with bourbon and burnt sugar notes. Um, this is fantastic tea and I thought I would not gonna like this because it's that smoky tea. It doesn't say song in here but I can smell that it is. Um, it just says black tea. Oh no, it does say. It has black tea, smoked black tea, which is that blub shum 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 shum. Um, barley malt and flavorings. That's the only thing that says in here. And it tastes like burnt sugar, buckwheat, chicory and bourbon. Feels like the forward familiarity of the South, whatever that means. Um, so, it, I don't like when the tea has like flavorings on the description because it could be anything. They could put flavorings of anything in it and we never know. I know. But uh, this is, the color of the tea is very strong and I'm surprised I like actually because I don't like the smoke tea. But in this scenario here, I put uh, some milk and stevia. In this scenario here, it tastes caramel. Um, and burnt sugar, it tastes just like the description says. It does taste like uh, that burnt sugar, so it doesn't just taste uh, like the Lepshin song. I still needed to know how to pronounce this tea, but anyway. Anyway, um, it's giving me this burnt sugar vibe, exactly how it described. Mm. and has a malty feel and like a caramel a caramel you know when you're trying to make a homemade caramel and you kind of burn the sugar a little bit more than you should but it still turns out delicious it's just that like almost that uh bitterness of the burnt sugar and the sweetness of the caramel get together then somehow works this is that tea uh, it's actually very good mm. i really like august teas um i had a couple from them before and they've all been very good i think they're based in los angeles but um yeah, low country. I don't know if it, this is still a tea that is in the website or not. I was just drinking today and I decided to make a little review for you guys. But it is delicious. It's, it gives a little bit of the bourbon vibe in the end. And the chicory buckwheat. I have no idea what a buckwheat is. But I'm guessing it tastes good. Um, mm. Delicious, very, very, very good. Um, so that is my take for the August and Common Tea Low Country. Let me know if you guys try this tea, if you have any thoughts or any other tea from August, because I'm, I'm thinking about because I am in a buying bin. Although I did break it, and you guys are gonna see this soon. I did place an order for the Y2 tea because I am, as I said in a previous video, I am getting into those plain uh, pourer brewing in your guy one situation um so i did place an order with them but that doesn't really count does it like doesn't count okay i want to go with that <laughs> but as soon as i want to continue to be on my buying bin for now except for that but once i do start going back into my uh, flavored blended teas david's tea situation I will probably visit their website and place an order because I have a list with them of teas that I want to try. So if you guys have any favorites from them, let me know in the comments below because I will 
be placing an order soon and trying to get some ideas out there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. See you guys soon.